Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib and it's time for another unboxing. We got in the L210 from Asus. This is a little 11 inch Windows 10 laptop that's not very expensive. We're going to take it out of the box and the first thing we're going to do is uh, see what we can upgrade on it. We're going to take it apart. After that, we're going to put it back together and see if we can get it out of Windows 10 S mode, which is what this ships with. Now, S mode means that you can only install applications in the Windows Store. You can't bring in any other software. But if we take it out of S mode, we can install whatever we want. And we'll step through that process here and then come back with a full review a little bit later. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure, this is on loan from Asus. So we're done with this. It goes back to them. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. No one is paying for this unboxing, nor is anyone reviewing it or approving it before it gets uploaded. So let's get into the box now and see what's inside. All right, so like other Asus laptops, you got your little marketing there. Uh, this is the power supply, very tiny. This doesn't consume all that much power. Uh, this looks like a 33 watt power supply and it uses a barrel connector and not USB-C. And then this is the laptop itself. Again, this is like an 11 inch laptop, so not very big, but it feels pretty good. And I've been a big fan of these little Asus devices over the years because, you know, they're not going to blow your socks off with performance, but they're pretty functional. Uh, the hinge feels good. It feels a little looser than I expected. Usually I, I like to have a tighter hinge, but if it holds up over the years, that's fine, right? And it goes um, completely flat there, so that's pretty nice. Um, they have a number pad on the trackpad, so you can type numbers in. It's not, um, you know, you have to uh, basically tap on those numbers to get those to work. Um, so they're not individual keys, but it's kind of a neat way to integrate a number pad into a very small machine like this. On the left-hand side, we've got that power connector. We have an SD card slot, a micro SD card slot that might help augment some of its onboard storage. Uh, you have a USB Type-C port an HDMI port. This does not, though, support uh, 4K at 60 hertz. It's 4K at 30 frames per second only. Uh, we will test this port to see if it's a full service port in the review, but I suspect it's going to be data only. You've got a full-size USB-A 3.0 port over there. And then on the other side, you have a USB 2 port and a headphone microphone jack, and that looks to be about it. Uh, this is fanless, so it shouldn't make any noise when it's in operation, and we'll test its thermal capabilities in the full review. By the way, this has an N4020 processor from Intel. That's one of their Gemini Lake chips, and it has four gigabytes of RAM and uh, 64 gigabytes of onboard eMMC storage. But what we're gonna do now is take it apart and see what's inside. All right, it wasn't too hard to get into it. We just had to take out all of these screws and inside you can see what we've got here. Uh, now the Wi-Fi card is something called a uh, Azure Wave AWCB304NF in case you're wondering what Wi-Fi is in there, but it looks like you could upgrade that to something else if you wanted to. You can't upgrade the RAM on here, but one thing that I noticed right away is that it does have an NVMe slot here labeled SSD. So in addition to that 64 gigabyte eMMC, I'm going to take a spare uh, NVMe drive that I had laying around and install it now just to see if we can make use of that. So we're gonna put that in there and I'm going to put this back together and see what we end up with. Now remember, this is fanless, so you've got this copper heat sink here, and then you've got some uh, material here on the bottom of the lid or the bottom of the casing here to help distribute that heat out a bit. But that's all it has for uh, cooling. It's a passive cooling system. So you'll see probably some throttling on this when we do our thermal testing later on in the review. So let me get this hard drive screwed down and we'll get it all set up and see what works. All right, so everything booted back up again and I was very happy to see that the NVMe SSD that we installed has been detected. So that works great. You can really expand the storage on this significantly. On the internal drive, remember it's 64 gigabytes. We have 26 and a half gigabytes free and that's before I installed anything. So you might wanna look at getting one of those SSDs if you plan to carry music or wanna have some additional storage to have with you uh, when you're traveling. You do have that SD card slot on the side, but it's always good to just have a nice fast internal hard drive. And we'll explore more about this when we do the full review. 
Now, as I mentioned, this is in Windows 10 S mode right now. And to get it out of S mode, the best way to do it is to go into your settings screen and go to update and security and then go over to activation and they'll give you the option here to switch to Windows 10 Home. So we're going to click on that real quick. That's going to take us to the Windows Store. You do have to have a Microsoft account for this to work. And what it will give you is a list of pros and cons as to why you might want to stay in S mode or leave it. The big deal for most people with S mode is that when S mode is enabled, you can only install software from the Windows Store, nowhere else. So if you have software coming from other places, you need to be out of S mode in order to get it to work. And what we're going to do here is click on Get, and that will pull down that uh, little app that will get us out of S mode. So let's let this thing do whatever it is doing here. And I'm guessing we'll have to reboot when it's done, and then we should have a Windows 10 Home running on this machine and as you can see here we're all set so we're going to have a full review of this coming up soon so stay tuned for that and until next time this is lon Seidman. thanks for watching this channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters including gold level supporters chris allegretta tom albrecht jim calliger hot sauce and video games and Brian Parker. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.